name is Fiora. I'm 15 years old. I'm a homeschooler. And I created this piece, What Do We Know, for this high school art show. I've been interning at the Norman Rockwell Museum, and I helped hang actually most of this wall for the show, and that was really fun. It's been a great experience. And I created this piece. Originally, it was just a doodle. I was just in my sketchbook, just kind of a stream of consciousness, what was on my mind. And then I really liked it and decided I wanted to make it into a piece. Um, I came up with the idea of this piece looking at the night sky. This dragon's supposed to simplify what I think is the night reminds me of. We have a wood stove in our cabin and I was watching the little coals and I was trying to imagine the stars. They're these like fiery things. And I was wondering what if the night was a dragon with fire in its wings? How, what do we know? <laughs> and so I just created this piece and it's, it's an entirely imaginary world that is my mind when I think of the nighttime. I really like mice so I decided to make the moon have a lantern and the mouse is lighting the lantern and I was thinking what do I know the moon could be a lantern I've never been to space I spent so many hours on this piece I thought for most of the time when I was making this piece I thought it wasn't gonna work out I was ready to scrap it <laughs> I was done I was like I've never done something this big in watercolor before I had used bristle board and it started to buckle a little and I was like it's not working but I'm really glad I stuck with it because I really like the way it came out is this, uh, what do you typically work in? What is the, the media that you work in? Yeah, so I work in pen and watercolor and color pencil. Those are my favorite mediums to work in. This one I did in color pencil and then I put watercolor over the top of it. So um, I do a lot of fantasy work. I like to draw out of my head. Um, I do a lot of things related to childhood and fantasy of children and children, how they play. And I also do just fantasy artwork. I like to make artwork that's, it's not making you think, oh, that's a fantasy piece, isn't that cool? I, I want my artwork to make you for a moment really believe, maybe the night sky is a dragon. Maybe. <laughs> now you said you had another piece here as well? Yes, I do. This piece was inspired by myself when I was little. I used to draw on the walls. I'm sure that's a classic thing a lot of young artists have done. At one point, they've drawn on the walls, and their parents were not happy about it. And um, But I wondered if maybe for me, because when I make a piece of artwork, it comes alive for me. It seems really real. And so I was wondering if what if this child drew on the wall and what she drew came to life? And so that's what I made this piece as. Um, I like this piece to be a little open-ended, so you can take it a few different ways. It can be like, what this girl drew has come to life, but she doesn't know it. Or maybe she does know it. You can take it as she's a lonely child, and so she draws herself some friends. Um, you could take it as, I put in these two uh, picture frames to describe, like along with the wallpaper in the house, it's a very old, Victorian, kind of a stuffy, rigid house. And you can see the person in this frame is a little mad. That's the voice of her parents. They're not happy with this. They want her to be more like this child in the frame, who's kind of meek and mild. You can see he's a little bit shocked about this giant flower on the wall. But you can see the way this girl really is, with messy socks and messy hair. She's a wild spirit, and she can't be contained. I'm Lily Climo. I'm a senior at Miss Hall's school. Uh, I was an intern at Norman Rockwell my junior year. And yeah, this is my uh, piece. I made it in an independent art class, so it was pretty self-assigned. Um, it was based a lot in my AP concentration from my junior year, which was about like physical manifestations of discomfort and insecurity. Um, but then I was kind of expanding on that, on like, how does that affect your surroundings, uh, the places where you exist, the people that you're with, and thinking too about my friend having some kind of health stuff and books I'd read with characters who were experiencing like broken bones and things like that and how that was affecting them kind of on a deeper level and their identity as a person. So 
I have been working 3D like this since September 2016. Uh, building things inside of boxes, um, but this was the first one where I kind of didn't let the box be an entire frame and just use these three walls to open it up a little bit more. Um, and yes, yeah, so I was thinking a lot about placement and you know keeping it a little less centered and attention to detail and creating this sort of forest scene. Um, yeah, I was also trying to think about light and shadow, so I've shown it at other times and photographed it with light coming from different directions so that there are different shadows on the trees and how that changes the mood of the piece. So, yeah, just thinking about a lot. So, it's kind of just wood that I found like in my basement and uh, made into this sort of frame. It's not really a full frame, but... Um, Everything else is paper, and I used watercolor and ink to color it, but I was kind of cutting the paper and leaving a little tab to fold it and uh, glue it down, so it's all sort of suspended. There are a few like little rolled up pieces of paper to kind of build a support system, but yeah, it's really just the paper and the wood frame that I made. I am Phoebe Pepper from Drury High School and I've been teaching art there since 2004. Um, all the levels of art from intro to advanced and today you're seeing some of our advanced art students that are doing hand building, artwork and clay as well as sculpture, the veiled maiden here. And um, we try to teach them all the mediums from drawing and painting in uh, watercolor, acrylic and oils uh, to sculpture and some jewelry and also altered books and uh, as many mediums as the students have interest in or I can push them into to try to find out where their direction is and what their medium is and what they're most interested in. Um, we also do some photography and we incorporate that into the work or we also do a lot of original work from their own as some of the paintings are done here in this room from my office.